In this lesson, you will learn how to pass information from controller class to the view using SpringMVC model map object. To make model map object available to a method in your controller class, you'll simply inject it as an argument in your method, and just the same way as we have injected model object in previous video lesson. So currently, a method in my controller class uses model object. I can use model map just the same way. Now let's import model map and no other changes are required. Now model map is very similar to model and it is used for the same purpose to add attributes to a model object. The main difference between the two between model map and model is that model is an interface. I can open it up by holding a command button on my keyboard and then click on the model and I see that it is an interface with a methods that are used to add attributes to the model object. Now, the model map is a class. Let's open it up. It is a class that extends linked hash map. And it can also be used to pass attributes to the view because it exposes similar methods to add attributes uh, to the model object. But additionally, it can also be used as a linked hash map. All right. So if you need your model object to behave as a linked hash map as well, then you can use model map. Otherwise, using model can be sufficient. So the attributes that we add to model map, they are also available in the view, just the same way they are available when we used model object. Let's open the view. And here we have an expression that displays user's first name and last name. Now, in this video lesson, we've added properties to model map instead of a model, but the way we access these properties in the view does not change. It is the same whether we use model or whether we use model map. All right, so let's run this application and see if it works. I will bring in terminal window and I will use maven spring boot run to run this application on default port 8080. Now that my application is up and running, I will bring in a new browser window and I will open localhost port number 8080. And here's the output from the view. All right, so model map is also working very well for us. Now let's continue. And in the following lesson, you will learn about another object that can also be used to pass properties from controller to the view. And it is called model and view. 